For all the latest from the world of motoring, hit that subscribe button and stay connected. Kawasaki Z900 always had a tough job from the beginning. It had to better the standards set by the 800. Today we joined by Ashok who picked up the Z900 almost as soon as it was launched to share his ownership experience. Hi Ash, good morning. It's great to have you here and your bike looks really beautiful. So can you please take us uh, why you chose this machine and uh, what are the machines were you looking out for? Hey, hi, good morning. Kawasaki bike, why I chose because this machine is very much lightweight and it is really good for daily commutation. This bike is like going very smooth and nimble and the braking system or kind of the machine the in the inline four or like six gears very much smooth i fell in love with this bike and uh, what are the bikes were you considering did you check out any other bikes yes so i had a couple of uh, uh, variants in this segment okay. i was looking for ducati monster okay. and i had was looking for uh, uh, triumph uh, street ripple 725 cc and uh, I, I also looked for the scrambler as well okay. but i like this particular machine uh, Z900 is the one like recently launched means 2017 and I had a test ride of this bike and I fell in love with this bike. And so uh, how has your experience been so far? I, mean, I believe it's for more than one and a half years now. Yes, uh, it's been like 17 months now okay. and the relationship is really going stronger and stronger day by day. Till, till date I never faced any kind of like issue or kind of challenge. Okay, this is not something which I was looking for. This is a perfect machine for my way of lifestyle. It is, okay. this is a perfect machine. And uh, how about its performance? Uh, how do you feel like, like the Z900 does not come with much electronics? In fact, basically ABS, that's it. Yeah. So how, how do you feel that in today's age, there are a lot of bikes which come with you know, much yeah. a lot of electronics. So how is it doing? Uh, in fact, like uh, this machine definitely, as you said, it doesn't have any kind of electronic uh, aids, aids with yeah. yeah, it doesn't have. But this machine really keep up with all the liter bikes. So all the electronics is in your wrist. Uh, yeah, <laughs> everything as you said rightly said. Yes, it is in my wrist, and definitely that's that's why I I fell in love with this bike without any of those electronic okay. updates. So it, it doesn't feel intimidating to ride. Or it's easy to ride. No issue. Yes, at all. it's very easy. And who is like going for the uh, super bike? This is the bike I would suggest. Go for it. This is like super duper cool bike with like 125 PS. It will add the lightning speed to their life. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I've seen that, you know, a lot of people tour on this machine. I believe you're also touring and see your setup. <laughs> so uh, how, how does it feel on long distance rides? Uh, yes, uh, long distance. Yes, you can easily make in a day 700 plus kilometers, kilometers. in a day you can cover it and absolutely you will never feel like okay boring kind of stuff or like i'm tired kind of this no okay seating position is really perfect for the long yeah. touring and uh, what tank range do you get uh this is a seven, 17 liters capacity and okay. uh, i just checked like 17 liters to zero petrol i i got 360 kilometers okay in in full tank that's pretty good yeah, yeah. and uh, so now now since you tour a lot the the riding position the handling dynamics of the bike mm -hmm. also matters a lot so how, how is it your experience been? Yes, the handling way, if you say like, okay, aerodynamics, it's perfectly made. But yes, uh, I just added on extra kind of the windshield. Uh, earlier it was like hitting to my chest, yes, okay. but right now it is coming to the, my neck. So I don't see like any kind of like, it's, it's like perfectly made, like the handling or seating position is like perfect and this bike can keep up. And uh, now coming to the brakes, uh, mm -hmm. how has the experience been with it? The uh, stock brakes. The stock brakes, the dual channel, uh, disc, disc brakes, the front uh, dual uh, dual disc, disc brakes. Okay. So it's really going good and uh, I guess I have touched uh, 230, uh, 230, 230 plus I've touched. Okay. Uh, the braking system is really good and uh, I never faced kind of like, no this bike is not keeping up the brakes. No, no this is good. 
and uh, for regular road use tires are also stock tires are also really good still uh, see i had i driven already 10000 kilometers okay. now yeah 10000 plus kilometers uh, the stock tires are still like kept as like not all that steel deeply carved but uh, it's going good it's pretty good for the straight road or tar roads or the hard road okay. not for not made for the wet roads wet definitely roads. okay yeah you need to be very careful on the wet roads and uh, definitely not for maybe slight off road like patches that's it right no yes uh, i've done couple of like uh, off roading kind of stuff definitely it's it's going good until unless you are not uh, cruising into the highest torque higher speed definitely it can keep up with all the off roading okay yeah and uh, now i see you done a lot of changes on your bike mm. uh, can you tell us wh what all you have done just like see i have customized according to my taste first i would say like i, I put the slip on acra okay. acra like is the one which i chose for my bike and i have put the bmc air filter okay and for my night rides uh, i put the the fog lamps auxiliary lamps or and and plus i put the led lights okay and and the windshield and the hand guards okay that's pretty much upgrade i've done and uh, i see the mirrors i see you have the extra hinges so is it something you yes uh, once like you see the oh, riders sits uh, wearing the huge jackets it comes around it will cover half of the mirror okay so that's where i use the extension part and so that the mirror will come out little bit so that i can see people who is coming behind okay and uh, now if if you were to say about couple of mm -hmm. things that you really like about this bike i really like the seating position first thing okay. and the seating and the the way it handles and it's very smooth and very refined bike i never felt any kind of uh, say uh, vibrating kind of stuff because i i, I rode couple of other variants in the same year, but this bike has really kept up my whatever I, I i expected in this machine okay and uh, now on the flip side if if yeah. you were to say something that you wish was different <laughs> I, i wouldn't say you don't like but we already have the bike but something uh -huh. you wish was different so uh, nothing much uh, in this particular z900 or the only the drawbacks of flip side you can say the road clearance okay if i'm if i'm going in the kind of like in the city commute the the speed brake is always okay. scrap below the my beautiful headers <laughs> it will keep scrapping yeah so that probably and, and any uh, changes you made to that to make it uh... yeah it since it's been quite long time i was just thinking i had in my mind saying that okay i need to do something for this so i, I removed the muffler chamber okay so that like the scraping part is like completely gone now that's okay. not at all touching anywhere uh, uh and uh, the sound is like definitely it has increased yeah the acrophobic yeah. it sounds really yeah good. <laughs> sounds <laughs> like lot of eye attraction like head turning is happening right now so asha one important thing about owning any big bike is the service support so how has your experience been with kawasaki uh service part yes kawasaki service center is really doing good the bangalore service center the very first service was uh, was around uh, 500 kilometers okay and uh, after that i got it service for 6k 6000 kilometers okay, okay. now the the third service is pending for 11000 11, so i just uh, like completed 10500 kilometers right now and how is the experience been with the service center uh service center guys are really good uh, personally like i know a couple of technicians who is like good in uh this particular mission like what what could be the issue kind of stuff okay yes uh, they are really helpful for me and uh, whenever i go to the service center they do uh, give go really like fast kind of service kind of stuff okay. they are really and, good and what how the service prices like how for service? uh that's what as i mentioned like uh, uh yes competitor if I, if i compare to the ducati or compare to the other variant the triumph kawasaki service center is bit cheaper yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, easy on the pocket yeah easy on the pocket yes if you are owning the super bike yes uh, minimum 10000 would be the service charges but uh, since i am not a kind of aggressive rider so all all kind of stuffs are in stock condition so i'm getting 8000 to 9000 the bill so uh, asha yeah. uh, thank you so much for joining your you know joining us today and yeah. uh, there's a lot of information that's yeah. Yeah. has been i'm sure it will be helpful to a lot of people yeah. uh, thank you so much and uh, wish you a lot of safe myself thank you thank you very much thanks for welcoming here inviting me thank you